My name is Corey Martinez and I am a professional BMX rider. I'm bringing my friends on this trip to go film and ride motorcycles, go camping, and just enjoy the open air. We did a trip to San Diego to meet up with Tony and Garrett and it was actually not the best trip for me. The last day I kind of got hurt. I hurt my shoulder a little bit, you know, and so I was taking some time off to see how it goes. After seven weeks of being into it, I shouldn't still be hurting and not riding my bike by seven weeks out. This feels really awkward. Went in and saw the doctor, got an MRI, and a week and a half later, go back to see them uh, for the results, and he tells me that I, I tore my labrum, and he recommends surgery. I got surgery right away, went in ASAP. I think I was in like four days later, actually. I'm four weeks post-surgery right now. It sucks, I'm still fighting some of the stiffness out of it, but it's coming along roughly another month before I can actually start cruising, and then another month after that to start building the muscles back up and uh, trying to get everything strong enough for the trip. can roll around, I can bunny hop. So on this trip, I'm hanging out in San Francisco with Tony and watching him do all the shredding. You don't know how bad I want to ride this stuff. I've grown up riding motorcycles my whole life, you know, since I was probably about 13, 14 years old and had one ever since. A good friend of mine gave me a number to Zach Ness, who's a custom bike builder from San Francisco. What's up, guys? Tony. Zach, nice, nice to meet you. Dude. Nice to meet you. Nice. Corey, nice, Corey. To meet you. nice to meet you. Yeah, definitely. My name is Zach Ness. I uh, work for my family business, Arlen Ness Motorcycles. Um, I do uh, design and help uh, run the business with my family, build custom bikes, manufacture parts, design parts, and also with uh, Victory Motorcycles, design consultant for them, and help out with different designs and different events and anything on two wheels. No big deal. <laughs> you know, I want to see his ideas and thoughts because that's what he does for a living. You know, I'm just some guy in a garage hacking away at pieces of metal trying to rig something up. Definitely want to go and do something crazy for you. Well, let's do it to where it's clean, tasteful, and over the top. Yeah, I like Definitely. where you're at. Yeah. I like where your head's Subtle. at. When it comes to motorcycles and this trip that we're doing, Tony's pretty much going into this thing blind. Corey's like the seasoned veteran when it comes to motorcycles and BMX and life. In order to have all these things into one package, you're having to come up with a way to put a bike and camping gear and all the, your luggage onto one motorcycle and then do a road trip with it. Not only just let's, let's make a bitchin' look in peace, but let's make sure when he's on the road he's, he's gonna have everything that he needs to get there and have a good time. He comes from a family of just legendary bike builders, so between you know him, his dad, and his granddad, all the things that they've done together, just gone through all the history of bikes, and it was really cool to see that side of it. I think what we'll do is we can go and get a couple of renditions going. I mean, you go back and forth, kind of find our happy meeting and what we both like, and, and just roll it. Yeah, yeah. Having the opportunity to go and do this trip and have a custom bike, you know, work with someone that is going to custom build and custom paint and do all this crazy stuff, it's awesome. I can't wait to get started. Yeah, definitely this trip made me way more comfortable, you know, just going out with Corey and Zach and be on the bikes and we cruised out to lunch today, then we cruised back and like, it was like really nice to like be with a pack as if we were on the trip that we're about to be on because that's one thing I haven't done is like really just cruised with a group of people and just gotten really comfortable on the motorcycles. You need to always kind of be in check with yourself and, and know that you're on a motorcycle and, and just respect it. You don't want to get in the mindset of like you can ride it like a BMX bike or anything. You got a lot of power in between your legs. <laughs> We're here in Daytona Beach for Bike Week. Everyone came out here to just enjoy their time on some motorcycles and get a chance to learn more about the motorcycle culture. I had no idea what to expect for Bike Week. You come here and you see on the signs like, bikers welcome, people just everywhere just revving their motorcycles as loud as they could. Riding a motorcycle, you have to be so much more connected to the machine underneath you. And if you have that curiosity, that's a good starting place. So when we showed up at Bike Week, we went straight to the Victory booth to meet up with Manny and Manny like, pretty much just walked us through all of their most recent bikes and all their bikes that are coming out in the future. And they're straight out of the box ready to go. Yeah, I'm definitely excited to see where Zach is with the bike, you know, meeting up with him and talking to him here and there about, you know, different ideas that he has and I have feeding off each other. 
I'm excited to see where he's at now. Corey's bike's going good. We're on the roll now. We switched the front end. We're switching the tire wheel size. I'm giving the bike a whole new profile. It's one of those things where you keep Corey's style and my style, forge them together for a whole new product. Corey likes the bobber bikes. He likes sport bikes. I like both as well, so we're taking both the bobber mentality and that sport bike mentality, fusing them together to have something new. It's a piece that's bringing the motorcycle culture and that BMX culture together to have something real different. Profile, stance, rideability, it's gonna be all over court. Everyone comes to this and they wanna show off everything they have. You're gonna get some interesting characters for sure. This is my first time to ever experience Bike Week and I always heard it was crazy, but this is just blowing my mind how many people come together and it's just all about the motorcycles. Check it out guys, these are our rides today. Today was like my first real chance to like just kind of be able to roll on a motorcycle so figuring it out going over bridges and stuff it's a new experience for me but like at the same time it's super fun there's not many opportunities where i'd be able to get my friends to do a trip like this Me as a builder, I like to have a lot of handmade custom details. So this seat matches uh, the tool bags he made for every single one of the bikes. But he got it done, it looks killer. Uh, now everything's gonna flow, and it's unbelievable he did it in a day. Right I'm that. glad you like it, man. Thank you very much. I was man. a little yeah. worried. So not only is it a custom piece, but it's also an advanced piece. It also rides the best it can ride. You don't have to be on the side of the road every damn 10 minutes. Corey, your bike's done. I'm sure Corey's gonna love it. As a matter of fact, I know Corey's gonna love it. it took a little longer to spec, but we got it done. So all in all, I'm stoked. I'm tired. Uh, hope you like it, Corey. We uh, we put everything into it. She's all yours now. It's gonna be awesome to have like motorcycles and to be really like free to just cruise in on things real fast and leave. Even with the motorcycles, they're gonna be like zipping around, like not gonna be able to stop us. It's gonna be really interesting to have him and Gary on the trip, mostly because they don't have very much experience on a motorcycle. I'm definitely gonna be nervous at the same time because I don't want anybody to get hurt. I'm not even trying to get hurt. No one's trying to get hurt. Hopefully we'll have that figured out by the time this trip rolls, because I'm not trying to get killed. What? Seeing the bike for the first time was awesome. It was just exciting to see the final project. Getting the opportunity to start up the bike and listen to the exhaust, you know, it's awesome. Riding through the Dragon's Tail was mesmerizing. <laughs> it was so nuts, like being with Corey and Garrett, just berming through kinds of turns that we had never gone through before. 